Hello there, full sized here with another video on Minecraft. I am playing the Tech It Legends mod pack, however, what I'm dealing with today has only to do with the most basic redstone circuitry. If you recognize this circuit from the thumbnail, or read the title, then you know what I'm going to be talking about today is a replacement for the classic hopper timer circuit. The hopper timer allows you to put items into a hopper and adjust a time interval to turn a circuit on and off as a toggle option, rather than simply sending a pulse of a signal like all of the other timers that are set up for red. So for this, I've got, I don't know, a 10 second timer or so, turning this lamp on, and then 10 seconds turning the lamp off. I'm not going to go into anything further on this circuit. I'm assuming that because you're watching this video, you already know about it, and like me, you're very sad that it's broken now. By broken, I mean that it doesn't seem to work with newer versions of Minecraft or on any of the multiplayer servers that I've tried it on because either the hopper trades one piece of sand or whatever item you have in here back and forth and doesn't send the rest of the stack and so the circuit is stuck on one side or this block right here, your redstone block, simply will not move no matter what you do to it. So there's two separate issues that seem to have broken this circuit and it's kind of irreplaceable, not in that it can't be replaced with something else, but in that you really need this for some circuits to work. You've got to be able to toggle stuff one way and then the other, not just send a pulse signal to it. So in order to replace it, you're going to need some redstone comparators, redstone repeaters, redstone, redstone torch, and some sort of redstone conductive block, like you could use dirt if you wanted to, or stone. I'm using quartz. And I'm going to use some lamps in order to demonstrate that the circuit is on and off. But you don't have to have lamps. You can just run it straight into your machine, whatever you've got it doing, whatever you had your hopper timer doing before it broke. So in order to set this up, you throw down one redstone comparator, turn around and throw down another redstone comparator, put a redstone conductive block on the right, and then redstone around it like that. Now that is kind of the basic circuit, okay? If we light this up, with a redstone torch, you see we have a power of 15 over here. But once we remove the power, this dwindles away over a period of about 3.15 seconds. Now, in order to repeat the process, of course, we need a repeater. So let me throw a lamp down right here, and then we'll light this up again with a redstone torch. So right now, we're providing a constant signal, and the lamp is on. If we remove this, then the circuit dwindles down rapidly, and the lamp turns off. In order to make a loop out of this, so that we can, like the, the hopper timer, go back and forth, all you need to do is throw down a power inverter like that, which means when this circuit is on, then that's off. So to demonstrate that, the redstone torch is off, I remove this, the power dwindles down, and then that redstone torch turns on. So now, like a transistor or transistors in a microprocessor, we're basically just going to copy this part of the circuit over and over again as needed. So we come over here and drop down another copy of the exact same thing, like so. And then we're back to, we've got the torch here providing a solid 15 power to this end of the circuit. We need to do the same thing over here, but not with a torch, but with a repeater. So on one end, to boost your signal, you're going to use a repeater, and on the other end, you're going to use the power inverter with the redstone torch. So we always have either 15 power going in or zero power going in. We don't have the problem of the power dwindling down, which can mess up your timing really bad. So now to demonstrate that, let me throw down another lamp here, and our lamp is on. It's about 3.15 seconds, actually, and the lamp turns off. 3.15 seconds later, the lamp turns on. The other cool thing that you can do with this circuit is, unlike the hopper timer where it's on for X amount of time and off for the same amount of time, you can manipulate this somewhat by adding more circuits to one side or the other. We're just going to copy the circuit again. And I'll put my repeater there and then pull my signal back around here like that. So now our block is on and now it's off. On. And off. So what we did, because we added twice as many circuits on this side, is we have our block on for 6.3 seconds 
and off for 3.15 seconds. So you could do the same thing on the other side. If you wanted it to be off for 6 seconds and on for 3.15 seconds, then instead of putting the circuit on this side, you'd put it over on this side. But the main thing is, however many circuits you add, you're going to be adding about 3.15 seconds to that side of the circuit. And you can arrange this however in the world you want, but just be sure that you distinguish between the on side of the circuit and the off side of the circuit, and you break them with the redstone torch on inverter on one end and the repeater on the other end. That's the only important thing. And if you're familiar with redstone circuitry, then this should make absolutely perfect sense to you, so I'm not going to go into any more detail. If you have questions, put them in the comments. This is not a terribly complicated circuit. So to show you on a larger scale, and you probably saw this over in the background, you're like, dear God, that's a big circuit, but that's what you got to have. My time sync is off between these two, but I've got them set up on about a one minute, 10 second interval. And so this hopper timer is going to switch this lamp on for 35 seconds and then off for 35 seconds. This big, long, huge circuit right here, which has about 18 copies of that initial circuit in it, does the same thing. It turns my lamp on for 35 seconds and turns it off for 35 seconds. The longer timer you want, the bigger your circuit's going to get. If you wanted your machine to be on for a minute and 20 seconds, for example, and off for a minute and 20 seconds, then your circuit would have to be this big again. On the other hand, if I wanted my circuit to be on for 35 seconds and then off for, say, 5 seconds, then I could just remove this entire side of the circuit over here and replace it with a line of redstone and a few repeaters to get back to my light block. So that's where this circuit is more customizable than the hopper timer because in order to do that with a hopper timer you can't do it. It's going to be on for the same interval that it's off. It's kind of sad that we had to go to this to replace the hopper timer but as far as I know it's the only way to do it. I mean I looked high and low and I couldn't find anybody anywhere who'd come up with any kind of a replacement for a toggle circuit. So here you have it. I hope this helps. Um, hopefully this will get some of your machines going again that were broken when the hopper timer went down. If you like this video or enjoyed it or learned anything, whatever, if you want to see more stuff like this, please like the video, subscribe, feel free to leave any comments, especially if you do know of another simpler way to do the same thing that the hopper timer did, because again, I looked all over and I couldn't find anything. So I'd love to see that. If you are playing a modded version of Minecraft and you have access to the computer or advanced computer block, that's this little guy right here, then you would also have to have a disk drive and a floppy disk. But I could show you how to do the same thing if you can use those. And if you want to see that, put it in the comments and I'll make a video on that. I know a lot of people are scared by computers, but you don't have to know how to program. All you'd have to do is copy about five or six lines of code exactly the way that I do it. So, I mean, I can walk you through that step by step. If anybody wants to see it, let me know. And you can do all of this in two blocks. But this is the only way I know how to do it with completely vanilla Minecraft with completely vanilla parts. Also the only way I know how to do it without using the computer. So again, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we look forward to seeing you next time.